YouTube. What's going on, man? It's your boy, Steph. TV, man. Back with a video. I'm up early. Um, about to head to the gym. I got my coffee. Uh, I'm really trying not to drink lattes anymore. I'm trying to get back into the black coffee. I feel like uh, Andrew Tate come around the corner and like punch me in the face because I'm drinking a latte, you know. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm on my way to the gym. It is what it is. And, uh, make sure. All right. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, I was like, I gotta make a video. Because I was supposed to make one yesterday, but the stomach goes to feeling right. A lot of things. But, you know, we back, man. You know, we back on schedule. I gotta clean this up. The one thing, man, I, I want to tell guys is because uh, a lot of guys, whether they're in the talking stages with a female, like you know me, I feel like talking stages is the most pointless thing in today's world, especially to when it's an interaction with, with a woman um, or in a relationship. And the guys got the issues with this. And I don't want to hear that. Oh, no, it's not. We well, ain't got no issues with it. It's like the power walking away. Like, seriously. Like, the power of just letting her go. Because, you know, in today's world, it's like if she leaves us, all right, I'm going to self improve so she can understand what she missed out on but like but the thing is you're focused on trying to flex on this girl the focus is is trying well in your head the focus is trying to flex on this girl for you know try to make her regret regret that and sometimes it works sometimes it works doing that oh yeah you missed out on me now now look who you got but that's another thing too what guys really don't put this into perspective bro sometimes a girl could find that dude who's a, a little bit better than you and besides just the um the money and status part like you know he may be the mouthpiece may be smoother um is that a word <laughs> uh you know the the charisma is a lot she she's more comfortable with that new dude that she's always been wanting than you are right and, and, and my thing too is what's important the body game shout out to ron wills and honestly this too the, another thing that's important the digging stick he just he just knocks it out the park for her she, she she's in love with it she she's like a crack fiend she's like <laughs> you see a crack fiend over it like and you probably just didn't dig her out right and that's what the thing guys really gotta understand it's like I, I say this in a couple videos I probably said last year or like the year before you, you gotta improve for you right you, you don't got your ish together you know financially you know you're not in the spot where you got especially to in California bro women should not even be on your mind women should not be on your mind like another thing too, what I'm noticing, and I see it on plenty of live streams when I get the chance to watch here and there. Oh, how do I? Um, what's the best looks to to get the most women on on these dating apps and all that stuff? It looks like why don't you just build the confidence up with everything around you? You know what I'm saying? Why don't you do that instead of focusing on trying to get the women? Because because what guys really don't understand is like. You know, you, you look like every other guy she dates. You know, I'm going to make a uh, video about that. I just hope I don't forget. And, and it's like, okay, she, you, you, she just adding you to the list. And it just depends on where you where do you stand with her, right? Because women have, like, layers, uh, levels of dudes that they deal with. Guys at the bottom, they just, they like the way they look, but don't really get a conversation. Guys who get the guys who uh you know probably get the talking stages maybe get to see him here and there on a date whether it's at work or whatever and then guys like she's sleeping with there's maybe one or two or maybe three maybe five 
that you know, you know what I'm saying, sleeping with, probably wants something with, but those others do it as well, and she has a hard time choosing. That's why I say, like, man, it's it's all based on you. Gotta get her attached to you, but let's just stick on to this, because I, I really went, like, completely crazy with that. But I'm saying is, guys, man, y'all gotta really to let go and walk away from her, man. Like, yesterday, right? Um, you know, I posted, no, no, Monday, I posted a lot on uh, magazines, uh, you know, uh, I, I didn't get up early in the morning to, you know, grind and get my work done, because I was like, hey, you know what, I'm sleepy, I'm tired, uh, you know, let me just get some sleep, I have a rest day from the gym, I just let it go, you know, I was getting rejected by magazines, I let it go, and and to some people, you know, that's affecting them. But me personally, it's like, you know what? I walk away from it. I'm must, I'm a, I'm a be good. It's, it's not killing me, right? I'm talking about that scenario, right? I walked away. It's, it's not killing me. And then today, I woke up in the morning, got accepted from an, another magazine. You know what I'm saying? Even, even with um, runway auditions and stuff like that. You know, I don't, I don't trip on it. And that's what you guys got to do with these women, man. Because y'all be keeping these women in your contact list. Oh, she going to come back. Oh, I know she going to come back. Oh, I know she going to come back. Why are you going to come back when she already disrespected you and walked away? Especially, too, you don't have that attachment to her. Got to be willing to walk away. Got to be willing to replace. And sometimes, too, walking away and just getting... And focusing on you, you you just be like in clarity mode. And you know, this is the funny thing. I want to ask guys in the comment section this, right? You ever notice when you really start to just enjoy life again after this girl and broke up with you? They always come back when you feel you ever notice that? It's like something about like women, man. They just they just love to come back when you just starting to release and enjoy life. Anybody ever notice that? Type that in the comment section, man. Cause it, it's to me, it's funny, man. You just like, well, wait a minute. I was, I was feeling so good for the last two, three days, maybe a week, and then you want to come back <laughs> and, and try to play games with me. And that's what it is, man. W women get a kick out of toying with guys, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially guys, they can do that too. The guy that she's attached to, she tries with him, but it don't work. That's why you gotta be that guy. You you gotta be that guy. Be like, nah, man. Like, yo, you you wanna cooperate or not? Cause if not, you gotta go. I'm blocking you on socials. I'm blocking you on socials. I'm blocking you, your number. That has nothing to do with me. I'm I'm too busy getting colder. I'm getting better. That's the thing, man. You know, guys gotta really understand. Like I, like even when I overhear these conversations at the gym, man, dudes be just like. Yeah, my ex this, I saw her at the club. You know, she was trying to avoid me. And I'm like, man, why, why are she, you supposed to be at the club drinking, having a good time? You and you and you in uh, California, bro. Like, anywhere, you anywhere. And you, you worry about what she doing? Why she looking at you at the club? Why are you supposed to be enjoying life? Even if you're not getting, getting any play out of the club. Or you just like just enjoying your drink, you enjoying the music, you just enjoying life. Seriously. Like, seriously, man. It's just like the, the power to walk away from something has to be strong. Because, like, you see these videos, oh, she has to instantly regret losing me. No, she ain't. She, fat, she saw somebody else as a better option. Now you have to make yourself as a better option. Not doing it for her. I'm going to work out for two months straight in my post so she can watch my stories. What? That's not, that's not the wave, man. That's not what life is supposed to be like, man. Like me personally, none of my ex could ever see me. Because, like, you know, during those times, I just block them. I changed my phone number, and even before, with other phones, I, I block them. I, I block them. And eventually, 
that you know you, you you focus on you you're not worried about them hope they come back oh hope they come back no nah, man let it go even though you want to hit it badly again but yo a lot of these chicks ain't worth it man it's just really not sorry my boy my uh my voice is squeaky but it's like yo it's not worth it how are you supposed to enjoy life and you got this goofy chick in the back of your head? Why this and why that? Hey, Fit X, how do I, how do I um get get the X back? How do I make her uh, want me to come back? Why do you want her to come back? She already disrespected you. Law of attraction, man. Law of attraction. And then what what guys really don't understand too is even when they do get over it, it's the last thing I'm gonna say. You attract. The same type of woman over and over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Just the only thing is different body, different names. Think about it. 